I certainly hope the super intelligent monkeys don't take over in the next couple of days because this Sunday on CBS is music's biggest night, the Grammys! <laughs> Grammys! I don't know why I'm saying it that way. Just want to sing. I'll be watching because contractually, my television can only be tuned to CBS. <laughs> It's going to be hosted by our friend James Corden, who will welcome such performers as you two, Rihanna, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga, and Pink. I can't wait to see James try to fit all those people in his car. <laughs> now, a lot of the musical acts are people who have been guests right here on this show. Kendrick Lamar, Lady Annabellum, Sting, Coldplay, and they haven't announced this yet, but one of my all-time favorite guests will be debuting his new banjo act, Neil de Bluegrass Tyson. <laughs> Yes, Neil to Bluegrass. He will explain to you why, scientifically, you actually do enjoy his music. John, I understand you're performing too, right? Yes, indeed. Paying tribute to Fats Domino. Fats Domino? The late Fats Domino. I'll Lifetime be watching, Achievement man. Award. Kill it. Mm -hmm. Get it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to check that out. I've heard great things about you, John. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. pretty good. But the performance I am most excited about is a duet between Elton John and Miley Cyrus. This is amazing because I am a huge Elton fan. I got all of his albums. Uh -huh. This is uh -huh. true. I was in an Elton John cover band called Nebula 5 when I was in third grade. Uh -huh. And I am definitely, I would say, I am definitely the biggest Elton John fan in the world, bar oh, no, none. You're not, Stephen. <laughs> Okay, you look fantastic. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Miley, I got to ask. Thank you so much. You can see that people are excited to see you here. Miley, what, what on earth are you doing here? I'm sorry. I just, I had to tell you that I'm Elton's number one fan. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am because I grew up listening to Elton John and I am easily like five years older than you are. Please, I know everything about Elton. Okay, prove it. Um, what was the first album ever to go platinum in pre-orders before it was even released? Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, 1973. What's the best-selling chart single of all time? Candle in the Wind. Which one, Norma Jean or England's Rose? Please, England's Rose, 1997, 33 million copies. Okay, <laughs> who did Elton John play in the 2017 movie Kingsman Golden Circle? He played Elton John. <laughs> what about... In the 1997 movie Spice World. He played Elton John, but a younger Elton John. <laughs> That's how great his range is. Come on, Steven, look what I'm wearing. Just check out my shoes. Look at my jacket. And my glasses. Mm -hmm. What does this say to you? What does it say to you? It says you're trying too hard. All right, answer me this. Who did he perform with at the 2001 Grammys? Eminem. But who was he performing with at the 2018 Grammys? Miley Cyrus. Damn it! Damn it! Look, Stephen, we don't need to argue. We clearly are both huge fans of Elton. You're right. You're right, Miley. You know, it, it's Friday night. And Friday night's not right for fighting. <laughs> but you know what is an all right night for fighting? I like what you're thinking. John!